Hello everyone, and let's check out another exciting chess game from the history of chess. From 1900, an inner chess game, White as Jack May says, and his opponent is an unknown player. Did you know that Jack May says was one of the original grandmasters from 1950? But this game was played in 1900. It is interesting to know that after 50 years later, Maces was going to be a grandmaster. Let's check out how this game went on. Maces starts the game with playing e4, e5, bishop to c4, knight to f6, knight to c3. Going for the Vienna game. Capturing the pawn, knight takes on e4, but queen to h5 by Maces. Let's take it back. If capturing the knight, then d5, and black is better, forking two pieces. Black is slightly better in this variation. Let's take it back. After capturing the pawn, we have queen to h5 by maces. Going back, not capturing the pawn, not capturing the e pawn, but defending the bishop. Actually capturing the pawn with the queen, with check, was possible. But for some reason, maces is not going for that variation. Bishop to e7, d3. And black castled, knight to f3, knight to c6, and knight to g5 by maces. Getting closer to the king with the knight, black was annoyed because of this knight, and he pushed the pawn. He says, go away, attacking the knight, and kicking the knight away. What would you do in this position? Well, maces is not defending the knight. He is going for the attack. He pushed the pawn. Sacrificing the knight. We have knight to e8. If capturing the knight, then capturing back. And how to defend the checkmate threat? Queen to h7 or queen to h8. There is no defense. So let's say bishop takes on g5 and then queen to h8. Checkmate. There is no defense. And black is getting checkmated. Let's take it back. So in this position, Mises is not defending the knight. And he pushed the pawn, h4, sacrificing the knight, not accepting the sacrifice, knight to e8. Black wants to play knight to f6, attacking the queen. But in this position, there is a killer move, knight to d5 by Mises, and then knight to f6, as planned, attacking the queen. What would you do? Maybe capturing the knight or the bishop. How would you continue in this position? Well, Mises offered his knight in the beginning, but right now he is offering another piece. Mises played queen to g6, sacrificing the queen. What a move. An incredible move by Mises, sacrificing the queen. But black didn't capture the queen. Black resigned in this position. He is losing. Let me show you the possible continuation. If capturing the queen, then knight takes on e7, discover check, double check, moving the king is the only move, and then knight takes on g6, checkmate. What an incredible attack by maces, let's take it back. What else? What are the other possible continuations? If capturing the knight, then knight takes on f6, check. Bishop takes on f6, and h takes on g5. Again, there is no defense. By the way, of course, of course this f pawn is always beat because of the light square bishop. How to defend? There is no defense. Pushing the pawn, but queen to h7, check, mate. Believe it or not, but king to h8 is surviving. Black is surviving after king to h8. But then, in this position, simply knight takes on f7, forking the king and the queen. Rook takes on f7 is a must. And queen takes on f7, and white is much better. Black is losing in this position. And as you can see, in this position, black is losing. White is much better in this position. So this is why, after queen to g6, 
Black Resort, London Incredible Queen Sacrifice by Jack Maces, a very underrated to not a famous chess game at all. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.